everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a huge, huge, huge makeup and beauty haul. So I've been collecting makeup now, not as in like collecting my whole makeup collection, but collecting this lot of makeup since just before Christmas and it's now February and I thought that would be perfect time to do a makeup haul as the drugstores have actually been really like getting up their game recently and there's been really, really good stuff in the drugstores at the moment and I've been obsessed with it. I literally cannot believe the things that have come out because I thought they were only going to be re-released, re-released? Only going to be released in America so I was so, so happy to find that they came to England and yeah, I'm just going to get straight into this video because I don't want the intro to be too long because as I said there's a lot of products to get through and I kind of just want to get straight into it so I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started so I'm going to start off with the drugstore now I went into Superdrug the other day and I saw the most amazing thing that I saw in a few people's videos in America and I really really wanted it so I was so happy that I found it and it is the Maybelline the Falsies Push Up Drama Push Up Drama Mascara I love the packaging of this mascara it is basically red and pink and then you just twist the red bit off and the wand comes out now the wand is incredible it is kind of like the their real wand but the little spikes are a little bit shorter now i only got this for six pounds not down from eight pounds and it was buy one get one half price i'm not sure they are kind of always have like an introductory offer on most of their products and i managed to get this when the offer was on for some reason i thought it was going to be double ended i thought i could twist the pink end off as well i guess that's just a play on my mind but this mascara is really really good the only thing i would say is though you have to curl your eyelashes before you apply it like I don't normally need to curl my eyelashes because my eyelashes are quite long anyway but I need to curl them with this because it kind of makes them quite short and stubby if I don't curl them but if I do curl them this is an amazing mascara and I would definitely recommend it. As I said it was buy one get one half price so I also picked up the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I have this on today and I think it is amazing. I think it has done wonders for my skin and I absolutely love it. I got mine in 01 Natural and this was £8 I think so I actually got the mascara for £3 which was amazing and yeah as I said it's just a matte foundation. It is really really matte actually. It comes out on my hand very matte but the only thing is it oxidizes is quite quick on your hand so you do have to apply it straight away but I have really oily skin and actually this doesn't let my oil seep through as much as some other foundations do whether this is because it's matte I'm not sure it doesn't say that it's oil free so I'm not too sure but this is a really really good foundation and it keeps my face hydrated all day and I would definitely recommend it now a few weeks back I had my YouTube 100,000 subscriber party and so many people bought me presents which they really didn't have to it wasn't that type of party but People did bring me presents which I was so, so grateful for and I was going through them the other day and I think this was bought me by Megan, Dip Dye Daisies. If it is, thank you so much. If it wasn't, thank you to whoever bought me this because my mum kind of mixed them all up before I opened them by accident because we couldn't really carry them all back to the car. But whoever got me this, I think it was Megan, got me two of the other new drugstore things. So they got me the Maybelline New York Blender and I took this out of the box this morning and it is so good. I use it to blend under my eyes here and it just fits perfectly in the inner corner and it didn't go orange at all like honestly my concealer just went straight on my face there was no excess I didn't have to wet it and I love that there's a handle because obviously you could get germs onto a sponge if it doesn't have a handle and I think that's what causes some of my breakouts but this one I love it because it does have a handle and it's a decent size as well so you can hold it in your fingers and put your concealer on or even foundation and I just love this so thank you so much whoever got me this and I'll definitely recommend it. The same person also got me one of the brand new Baby Lips blushes. So this is the Baby Lips Balm and Blush in number one Innocent Peach. So it's quite cute, it has a little holder here and you can just twist the plastic off and it's like a ball, it kind of reminds me of an EOS lip balm. Let me just swatch it on my hand. It's very like peach, I don't know how well you can see that but it's really really like a peachy toned colour and it's very shiny which I love and of course you can use it on your lips and cheeks as well which I really like and I think these would like, when I get all four I would love to put them lined up in my makeup collection. I really want the nudie coloured one because I think I could use that as more of a highlight than a blush as well which I really like but yeah I absolutely love this again thank you to whoever got me this and I believe these are about £5 to buy at the moment. Sticking on the topic of drugstore I also got another thing which I bought and this is the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Bar. Now obviously I am a girl and I don't shave my facial hair however so many people use this as a primer and I really really needed a good primer because everybody knows how oily I get it's absolutely disgusting I don't know 
and why I get so oily. But yeah, I saw this and you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this because so many people have it and you get so much product in it. It's unbelievable. And it smells like the classic Nivea scent as well. So your face smells amazing when you've put it on. But this is only £3 and at the moment it's good. I mean, it's not so great for just under concealer because that really caked up. But under foundation, this worked amazing on my skin. I used this on the night of my party and it was insane because I always have trouble again with oiliness, makeup slipping off my face, cakiness. Not really sure why, but that just happened. But this primer is really helping that, so I would definitely recommend this. Now I'm going to move on to a Lush thing I got. So this is the Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics Cupcake Face Mask. Now I wanted to try the Lush Face Mask for so long. Oh, it just smells so good. And I finally bought one because they're seven pounds, and you have to use them within three weeks. And I find it really hard to use Lush products up that quickly, which is kind of the reason why I hadn't bought one yet. But I absolutely love this. It just smells amazing. It has, it says, take out the fridge, apply a gorgeous layer over the face, and leave for five to ten minutes and wash off with warm water. And it is so, so good. It's basically just made out of chocolate and smells like chocolate. But it's so good and it's for teenage and oily skin, which is really helpful and it helps calm down breakouts. I would definitely agree with that. My breakouts have calmed down a lot since me using this. And even though it is £7 and you have to use it within three weeks, I would definitely recommend this. It is one of the most amazing face masks. I was going to say primers. Next, I'm going to move on to a few MAC things that I've recently bought. So I recently bought this when I went shopping with Amber for her birthday and I absolutely love it. And it is the MAC Cosmetics Pigment in Rose. I've never tried a MAC pigment before and I was quite sceptical about trying one because obviously pig they're loose pigments and you have to put them onto your eyes like loosely and I was very very sceptical about buying this but I'm so so glad I did. It is such a stunning colour and when you lift it off you can just see the sparkle in that pot and it is amazing. You get so much pigment. Pigment? I'm so sorry, I cannot speak today. You get so much pigment for the money and it's just gorgeous, it just reacts with the light and I wore this on the night of my party and my eyes, I'm not being stuck up, but I loved how my eyeshadow turned out. It just looked amazing for me anyway and I absolutely love this and this was £16. I then also picked up a lipstick and this is the MAC Lipstick in Faux, which is a satin finish. And I had this on today mixed with Velvet Teddy, which is my new favourite mixture and I love this so much. The smell of MAC lipsticks makes you just want to like eat them, I'm not going to lie. But I love this colour. I really want to start collecting the more like nude colours from MAC because they're the colours I'm really liking at the moment. But for 15 50 I love MAC lipsticks. I'm getting quite a few of them now and I will definitely do a swatch video soon because I literally love these so much. Okay, so the final part of this makeup haul is from Too Faced and I got so much stuff from Too Faced recently. I was so, so lucky. And I've also got another two things, but I'm gonna save those for another haul because I didn't want this two haul to be like overly long. So the first things I got, which I'm just in absolute love with and I just nearly dropped it, was the whole collection of the brand new Melted Chocolates. So if you don't know what Melted are, they are basically, oh my gosh, I didn't pick these up very good. These are basically Melted Liquid Lipsticks and I love these so much. And they recently brought out a range that smells like chocolate and they're all nude colours, which is just right up my street. And there is three mattes and there is three like metallic colours, which I love. And one of my favourites, actually this is my favourite, is this one and it's Chocolate Milkshake and I love this so much. And it smells like chocolate. They really do smell like chocolate. I just love these so much. That one's a matte one. So is this one, which is chocolate honey. And so is chocolate cherries. Those are the three matte ones. And then for the metallic ones, you've got metallic chocolate diamond, metallic frozen hot chocolate, and metallic candy bar. And I just love these so much. I am just so, so grateful for these. And they're amazing. And the final two things I was very, very lucky to get were the Too Faced, chocolate bar palette and the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. I never owned any of the chocolate bar palettes and I wanted them so bad and I finally got them and I'm so so happy. So they just look like this. Look at the array of colours. This is the first one. My favourite sh shades or yeah shades are hazelnut creme brulee and champagne truffle. I absolutely love these and of course they smell like chocolate and you can actually lick and eat them as well. So my hair went with. And then from the semi-sweet chocolate bar my favourites are coconut cream, butter pecan, bonbon and pink sugar and as you can see another gorgeous palette i absolutely love these palettes i think they're about 40 pounds each but they're just gorgeous and let me just smell them because oh my god they just smell 
So yes, that is basically all of my makeup. I'm so, so grateful for all of this. I cannot believe that I finally got my hands on half of this. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing hauls, so they're some of my favourite to film. And I will definitely film more because I have some more stuff to show you. I also have a lot of clothes that I have bought, but I'm always sceptical about filming clothing hauls. I don't know why, but if you do want to see a clothing haul, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!